And now, here's Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. Well, five days a week we go, two hours a day we go, 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day out there, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Surrender and let go of the past. I love this guy. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you going to do right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had a Dow down 17, NASDAQ off 8, SPs off 4, gold contract flat at 1,426 an ounce. Silver up 38 cents at $36.83 an ounce. Platinum down $5 at $1,740 an ounce. Copper up three pennies at four thirty one a pound. Light sweet crude up a buck eighty five at one oh four ninety three a barrel. Bonds up three ticks trading out at one twenty one eighteen. Dollar index up five ticks at seventy five seventy. Euro down two ticks at one forty two. Yen off twelve ticks at eighty point nine zero. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a sideways move out here today. The high of yesterday was 1,300.58 on the SPX, which is the cash S&P. Today was 1,299.35. You did 800 million shares versus the billion shares yesterday. And you're going into and trying to get into the 23rd. Now, the 23rd, folks, of February had 1.3 billion. Market couldn't handle it yesterday. The market certainly couldn't handle it today. So you're basically, you got up against that 1,300, couldn't handle it. What you can expect is that it's going to be pushing down the other side, that other side being the 16th of March. The 16th of March, we had 1.4 billion at that bottom. That's on your S&P. We go to the Dow Industrials. You take a look at the Dow. Same type of setup in the Dow. What you have with the Dow out here, uh, yesterday the Dow did a billion, today did 800 million, and you're trying to push into that uh, 12,063 level, same date, the 23rd. NASDAQ Composite. Now we look at the Composite. The Composite absolutely is the weakest out here. Um, when we take a look at the Composite, what we have with the Composite is this. She also went sideways. She was down 8 bucks. bottom line. She was trying to get over the highs. Both All the indices were trying to get over the highs this morning. They couldn't handle it. What we had with the Composite is this. Yesterday you had a high out there of 2674. Today what you had you had the high of uh I mean the high yesterday was uh 2699. Today the high was 2695. We do 1.6 billion versus 1.7 versus you're going into that 23rd and you can see in the composite it's pretty dramatic. That's 2.495. So it's just about 2.5 billion you're going into that yesterday with 1.764, today with 1.649. What that sets up is that it wants to get back into the 16th, and the 16th is where we come downtown with 2.6 billion. The top of that bar is the 26.69. The bottom of that bar is out of 26.03. We go out and we take a look at the SPY, the SPY. What we have with the SPY out here, the ETF structure, the SPY side was out here today with 124 million. You can see though, uh, bottom line, all that did is come up to ice yesterday. Uh, we come up there with 154 million yesterday. Try to get into it today with 124. That baby wants to trade. You are at 129. That wants to get uh, down into the 125, 28, which is the low of the 16th. We'll see whether it can uh, basically go after that low and if it has any juice. Gold. We go to go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold out here. What we had with gold price spread out here. This is what we have with gold today. Price spread was four one. 419 was the low, 1432 is the high. We did contract volume of 107 million, 107,000 folks. That's not even close. Uh, the downdraft that we uh, did on the 15th of March, you we pushed down with 248,000 contracts. We go back over to no, the November 7th high, which was the 1434.25, 1434.10. You did 250. 
225,000 contracts. Silva, we go look at the Silva. Silva contract out here. This is what we have with Silva. Silva did 56,000 contracts. We are trading out at 36.39. Silva had come down with 105,000 contracts. Now, this is what you have with Silva. You're over the, the downdraft, meaning that you're over 35.95. You're at 36.39. 36, 36, that says that the 36.74 is going to get tagged out there. And that tag, that was the high of the 7th of March. You did 83,000 contracts. So you, got, you, you definitely have a little divergence there between gold and silver. We're going to take a look at the bond market. What we had with bonds out here, 30-year bond. She was a sideways move out here today at 121.18. That 121.18 uh, out here, folks, okay, uh, is backing down with lighter volume. Uh, these bond, the prices want to go higher. That's saying the yields want to go lower. You have a high price out there right now at 123.22. That was the high from last week. I suspect we're not only going to go over that. We're going to, it looks to me like you get a, a small ABC structure on the way up. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go to Jack in Ontario. Hey, Jack, what's going on? Well, there's the old song, they couldn't keep Jack from being happy. And if you look at IOC, which I sold yesterday at 80, you get a good idea of why I'm happy. Oh, there you go. Picture perfect. If you ever do a textbook again, like a new one, whatever, this should be one of your studies, because take a look at that chart. Yeah, look at this, folks. With that, what IOC did out here, that's interesting. Okay, so it was going up to the, the highs that were generated back in November 8th. That high was 81 98. Yesterday it gets into a price point of uh, 80. Today it gets uh, the 81.92 level. You talk about volatile. That's quite volatile. So it's it's traded from. Let me see this. From 81. This that this is a psycho stock anyway. You, you always got to take your money on this stock, right? That's the bottom line. Well, you learned that pretty quick. So why did this fall apart at the? Uh, it's not falling apart at two o'clock, right? What happened there? Early, they were supposed to release earnings after hours, whatever, and someone snuck them out early, and they were they stunk. They were. Uh, I see. Interesting. Plus, well, they decreased a resource amount, and somehow they made a mistake before that they estimated a resource it never was drilled. So I don't know how you can do that. Well, they don't even. Oh, I guess they do take money in. Okay. Yeah, from yeah. stockholders. They take a lot of money in. 194 million uh, a quarter. Okay. Now I know you're going to try and talk me out of it, but where do we get back in? Let's. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking 63. What do you see? 63. Let's see what we got. It's IOC we're looking at, folks. Well, take this back a little bit. Okay, so put it on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly basis, they couldn't bust it up, so now I'm going to bust it down. Well, yeah, I mean, 59 is game. Where I'm going with that uh, is May 21st. On a weekly, the high of that, they had volume of 8.5 million. See how it comes into that area? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. And, folks, if you want to see uh, a couple uh, equities that just uh, absolutely did take off today, uh, you had the, it was the rear element. Uh, you know, if you're watching this on TV, I want to show you something right here. Uh, if you're not watching on TV, I'll explain to you how you can get that. But So if we look at REE first, okay, REE was up 2 bucks today, and... You know, basically, this this is kind of a classic, meaning that it comes into the breakout area, does it with lighter volume. You know, this little baby had taken off in October, goes from $7 to $9, comes back to the breakout again, takes off again in December, goes from $9 up to 17 pulls all the way back to 955 again, does it on lighter volume, now takes off today. So that was up $2.50 today for a $12 stock. Uh, MCP. Now this okay, uh, Molly Corp uh, did the same same deal. You know, broke out, came back to the you know breakout area, took off again. Molly Corp uh, went up today uh, seven dollars and eighty nine cents for a fifty two dollars stock. Uh, in both cases, in Molly Corp's case, folks, there's a twenty percent shot position. In RE, there is a eleven percent shot position. Now that being said and done, what I want to show you, okay, and I'm going to show you right now, if you're watching this now, if you watch, uh, yeah, let, let me do it first and I'll explain to you. Because well, when you see what is going on here, now, the reason that those stocks uh, are going up so dramatically, folks, okay, this is, well, it's twofold, okay, the, the stocks are getting pumped, no doubt. Now, what you also have 
is that there's two rare elements, okay, that, you know, China has decided that, okay, they're not going to let them export. But I want to show you the acceleration and what parabolic is all about. One of them is, um, uh, it's uh, lithium. Okay, now that this, if you if you're looking at the TV part of it now, right now, this is what this has done per ton. February 28th, that was thirty one thousand six hundred dollars per ton. Right now, today, it's fifty two thousand per ton. That's you talk about parabolic. Now, if I bring this chart back, now watch this. I bring this back to 07. We put it on a weekly. Okay, and what you're going to see. I've never seen anything so parabolic in my life. Okay, it's pretty amazing, actually. And if I bring it back to 08, 52,000 was the high there. You bring it down to 29,000 was the low. Um, even on an acceleration, you can take the uh, 52. Let me see something here. Oh, no, that's not the high there. One second. High on 318.11. No, I'm hitting the wrong one. Okay, 36,000 was the high in 08. And then there was a low of 21,000. So you can take 15,000 on top of the 37, and that gives you the, the price point. Well, this did the price point, folks, in one, one month. Bottom line, take it for what it's worth. Now, that's one of them. Cerium is the second rare earth, and this one here, A, C, E. This one here, same type of setup, parabolic, right to the moon, no doubt. Um, so this one went like this, folks, okay? When you go back, it was, this was 33,000 a ton February 17th. Now this is 67,000 uh, 67, a ton. And if we bring this back to 05, and we put this on the weekly, what you <laughs> oh interesting this one here actually only goes back they've only been I only have it going back to oh let me see if I can put oh five this is they've only been tracking this since oh eight okay so this is I only have the uh, chart on this from oh eight bottom line both of them are parabolic and what does it mean when you're parabolic it means folks that they won't be able to sustain and hold those prices it'll be a blow off it'll go up there it'll blow off and then uh, that baby will come all the way back because we got to remember something that it's a uh, uh, a commodity is a commodity, you know, and of course they get the scale with, the, with China. Uh, bottom line, we'll see where this uh, shakes out. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And folks, the way that you do, uh, you can do a live stream, of course. When the first hour is over, though, you remember you can go anywhere with TFNN on the TV portion just by going to our website at TFNN.com. And I'll explain it on the web phone as soon as we come back. All right.